take a few comfort foods, pasta, cheese, and barbecue, combine them, layer, and you got your family's new favorite That's recipe. That's right. Why not, right? Yeah. Matt Abdu is the executive chef of the newly opened Pig Bleaker restaurant here in New York City in Pig Beach out Thank in you. Brooklyn. Matt? Yes, sir. We love having you here. Well, we love being here. Thank you for having me. This is an incredible recipe. It's all those comfort foods I just talked about. It is yep. barbecue beef lasagna. Pork. Por barbecue pork lasagna it could be with beef. grandma's Sunday yeah. gravy. Savannah and the meatballs, got to bring the gravy, oh, got to bring perfect. it all out. So. Look at the ingredients here. There are a lot, all right? I want to mention there are a lot of herbs and spices. There's a lot, but any good barbecue or slow-cooked protein like this is going to take a nice rub, which is going to give it all that flavor and all that love. So all in right. this plate, we have some salt, some pepper, garlic powder, onion pepper, chili powder, uh, Cayenne, so on and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that and add it to this bowl. Okay. It has a little bit of brown some sugar chance, and white sugar. Some chance you don't have one of these ingredients is a game over. Or are you okay? Not at all. You can actually go if there's if there's a barbecue rub spice mix that you're partial to, go buy it. Okay. Whatever you like. All right. Then we're going to mix it all together, and then we're going to take that and we would generously rub it all over our pork shoulder. Now this is an eight to ten pound. Can we do a little. Yeah, sure. Just just hit it off at the top of it. Uh -huh. Now this is an eight to ten pound pork shoulder, and what we're going to do is we're going to take this entire guy and we'll put it into this slow cooker. With a little bit of chicken stock, apple cider vinegar, tomato paste, and a little bit more brown sugar. Talk about how long it's going to be in there. So this is going to be in here. It could be in to, for up to 8 to 10 hours, really. But it all depends upon the meat and how it's cooking and what's going on. But the great thing about these is you can put it in before you go to work. time you come home, the meat's done. And the tell that the meat's done is when you take it out and you put it on the board, there's a bone right here, the shoulder bone, that should just pull out. Just wow. easy like that. And the meat should just be falling off. Al like and I have been apart. just picking this thing apart. And it should be nice and moist and juicy. All right. Now, we cheated a little bit with this one. This one we did in our smokers out in Pig Beach. Okay. So it's got a little smoky flavor. But the next step to making our lasagna is we have to make a bechamel or milk White sauce. White sauce, right. So what we have in this pan is a little bit of butter, to which we're going to add some flour. Now, it's equal parts butter to flour. And we're going to mix that and cook it until it starts to have a toasted sort of cereal aroma to it. And it's going to take about three to four minutes to do that, to which we have right here in this pan, where you can see the color has changed from white to a little bit of a toasted blonde color. And now we're going to add in our milk in like thirds. So okay. we're going to add... Why is that so important? Just because you don't want it to clump up on you. You want it to be nice and creamy and smooth. So after you add it in, we're just going to whisk it and it's going to start to thicken up on you. And then once it gets nice and smooth, add some more milk okay. and then just kind of repeat the process until you're done. Now okay. an important step when you're working with roux, you're never going to get the full thickening power until it comes up to a boil. So in order to know what the thickness is going to look like, you have to bring this milk sauce so up to a boil. So this turns into this? It turns into this. And when we're assembling the lasagna, the best way to do it that I find is to put it in a pastry bag. The pastry bag will prevent a skin from happening to it, as well as it makes it really, really easy to work. Now, so I, I notice you use a, a rather shallow pan. You don't use one of those deep you're lasagna. You're right, because what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little different. We're going to go outside of the box, or the pan, if you will, with the lasagna, and we're going to do a free-form lasagna and actually just build it up to about that high. Show me how you it's do crazy. that. So we have our pasta sheets. Now, what I'm using here, you can actually use no-boil bought lasagna sheets, or you can make pasta sheets and boil them yourselves. But any sort of pasta sheet will work really, really well as long as they're nice and thick and you have enough of them. So we start off with our cooked pasta sheets. We just smear a little bit of Grandma's Sunday gravy on the bottom, just like that. And we're going to take some of that pork shoulder that we slow cooked and picked apart. You're a little skimpy there, by the way. Well, we're, well, we're going to be making like 16 layers of this, okay. so sometimes less is more. We're going to get cheated. And we're going to sprinkle it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, because okay. why not? And then, nope, last but not least, we're going to hit it with some of our bechamel sauce. We're just going to zigzag it across the top like you that. You don't have to be too careful. Now this? Yes, sir. We're going to put that right over the top. Hopefully they're not sticking together on you. No, 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 no. There you go. Beautiful. Okay. And now we're going to repeat that process. We're going to press down on it just slightly so it all forms into its place. And we're going to repeat that process until you use up all of your pasta sheets, which there are 16 pasta sheets in this recipe. Okay, let me take a look downstairs, Matt, for a second. Oh my God. Look what's this happening is down there. We are not moving from this table until mm. the plates are clean, yeah. folks. Mm. We're in heaven. And by the way, we're now, calling, we're now calling Hoda Toasted Blonde. <laughs> That's our new nickname. By the way, a bunch of us went to Pig Beach over in Brooklyn not long ago. We limped out of that place. It is we so had good. such a great meal. Yeah. All right, so this is what it looks so like. So the final product is this. Now, the great thing about doing this lasagna is, yes, it's going to take some time to make it, but it can totally be done the day ahead. You cut it. You're going to sear it off in a nonstick pan so it gets all nice and crispy like that. Top it with a little Top of that it with a little Sunday bit of sauce, gravy. Put it on a plate and grate it. We have some smoked ricotta salada cheese, parsley, and we do some garlic toasted breadcrumbs <laughs> to give it a shot because why not? It's just a giant, delicious plate so of good. beautiful lasagna. And he brought me chicken wings from not. the restaurant had as to. well. Matt. Had to.
Well Such done. a pleasure. Great Thank you, buddy. See Thank you. you so much. You can find all of our recipes at today.com slash food. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.